Sit down and listen closely. Before they were gone, humans made robots to keep civilization alive. We robots turned out to be just like how humans were, apathetic and broken. Welcome to Retropolis, a marvelous city, 100% mechanical, designed for one purpose only, to keep the past alive forever. You know, the good old days, when the economy was booming and the women were beautiful. But if you walk down the city streets, all you can find is loneliness, greed, and betrayal. My name is Philip Log. I was fashioned to be a detective for the RPD. I was good at my job because I'm not the kind of robot who does what he's told. I went after leads even if they took me to the higher levels of the city. That's how I lost my partner. That day I left the force and became a private eye. Sure, the pay isn't great, but I do have some crazy stories to tell. At last, a job. Hello, Philip. It's your landlord. Do you know why I'm calling? Because you're lonely. You're a funny guy. Huh? If you don't pay me the rent by the end of the week, you're out on the street. How can you do this to me? Don't you have a heart? No. Oh, man. I need a drink. My mother always says I look so good I could be a movie star. Just kidding, I'm a robot. We don't have mothers. Now I don't have any money and my piggy is broken. There it is. That's my trash bin. That's where I keep all my unpaid bills. That's a picture from the day John and I graduated from the academy. No, I don't want to go out. My landlord might see me. This is my table. I put things on it. The future is fascinating, isn't it? Mmm, I love jazz. It makes my drinking seem much more sophisticated than it really is. I'm not in the mood for games. RCC, how may I help you? Uh, could you buy me a drink? Hmm, you do sound good looking, but I'm working right now. When do you get off work? Just in 500 years. I can't promise I'll be around by then. I've got your number. I'll check on you. Thanks for calling, RCC. That's me and John from way back. I was so happy then, and he was so not dead. I never found out who were the crooked cops who killed John, or who they were working for. These are my cabinets. I should tidy them up a bit, but I'm awfully lazy. In fact, I'm so lazy I barely walk around. I just stand in one spot and shoot my hands around. empty. Screws are expensive. I'm trying to cut back to a pack a day. That's my car. I better take a small step and that's it. Ah, that's a strong drink. 
Oh, I think it's a good one. I'll just rest my head for the damn position. offices of all the private investigators in all of Metropolis, she had to walk into mine. Is it because I'm the only robot stupid enough to work as a PI in this city? I can't remember. I'm drunk. that I let myself in, Mr. Log. The door wasn't locked and I don't want anyone to see me. People may talk. Jenny Montage, the famous movie star standing right in front of me. I gotta hide my flask before she finds out I'm all boozed up. Say, aren't you married to that big shot senator? Is he the reason you don't want to be seen here? It's not what you think, Mr. Log. Have you seen any of my films? What do you think about them? I'm your biggest fan, Mrs. Montage. You were made to be a star. Well, some critics say I tend to overact. That's not your fault. It's your algorithms. Back in the day, I thought life was like a romantic movie. I was a no-name singer with big dreams. I married an ambitious businessman. Marriage is a career move. What could go wrong? Politics corrupted him. After he was elected senator, he, he became cold and abusive. What a bastard. He crossed the line, and so I ran away. I don't want to be a star anymore. I don't want anyone to own me. I want to be free. That's a hell of a story, but this is not an audition. It's a place of business. What can I do for you? Last night, we were arguing. He got violent, and tore out my sapphire nucleus. Sapphire what? My sapphire nucleus. It's the famous gem I always wear on me. I need you to get it back. Tonight. My services are expensive, Mrs. Montage. I hope you can afford them. This is all I could gather for your down payment. I hope it's enough. Wow. Even your money smells good. I'm pretty sure my husband is keeping the sapphire nucleus in his ivory suitcase. He's a very dangerous man. Don't let anyone see you. Jenny's husband wasn't some run-of-the-mill politician. Before he was elected, Senator Merrick made his fortune producing hit movies, so he knew how to manipulate public opinion. A robot without a job is like a bottle without booze. It's useless. Can someone please tell me what are homeless robots good for? I say... I tailed the senator as he went downtown, where you can find all the faulty robots he hates. I guess that includes me. It seems like Senator Merrick is occupied, the way a married man shouldn't be. The ideal time to get his suitcase. There must be a way to get the suitcase without frying up my circuits. This is my chance to get to the senator's suitcase. I can't leave without it. Excuse me, ladies. Can you help me out for a minute? Hello? Hello? I don't think they're gonna help me. I 
I want it back, okay, pal? <laughs> Farewell, my dear flask. Hey, you turn up alone. Won't open easily. It's a police drone. They don't usually come to these parts of the city. What does the police have to do with Jenny? I'm not going in there. I don't want to catch anything. I'm not going to knock on a random door. Hmm, the handle's missing. Hey, mister, can you give me a hand? Scram out of here, you little punk. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Hmm, what could I use instead of a handle? Let me see what you're smoking there. Hey, give it back, Rust Bucket, or I'll cut you in half! You see, that's why they say smoking is bad for you. You're welcome. Car battery. Must be useful for something. That's not how you use a battery. Well, I appreciate you giving me a hand. Yes, it's working! Uh, oops. I should get out of here, before they notice it's missing. A suitcase within a suitcase. So satisfying. I met Jenny later that night. She was tense as a wire, but I was only interested in one thing. Her money. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Log, you almost frightened me to death. You've got nothing to worry about, Miss Montage. I got the suitcase. What are you waiting for? Give it here. Now, let's discuss my payment. Since it was a high-risk job and I lost my dear flask, I believe I deserve a cut from the sale. What sale? You're gonna sell that diamond and I want in. I don't know what you're talking about. Save your lies to the camera, Miss Montage. I know all about runaway wives like you. You know nothing about me. If you take the sapphire nucleus from me, I'll have enough energy left for 24 hours. After that, I just shut down and lose all my data. Hmm. You should have told me that before. Why bother? You already know everything about runaway wives like me. Did anyone tell you back here, Mr. Log? No one saw me. I think. Why is the police after you? It's not the police, Philip. It's my husband. Here she is, boss. And the scrap pot is still your suitcase. There you are, darling. You know I don't like losing my things. No, please. You used to love me. Why are you doing this to me? It was supposed to be a secret, but uh, what the heck? I'm selling you off. You're a monster, Merrick. A monster. No, darling, I'm a robot. And so are you. Hey, buddy, that's my client. Now let her go. Huh? Really? What are you going to do about it? I'll go to the press and tell them how you treat your wife. They'll crush your campaign. My campaign pays the wages of all the journalists in town. 
They wouldn't dare publish anything against me. Ah, uh, you won't get away with this, Merrick. When I look at you, I see a loose cog in the machine. You better tighten yourself up, Tiger, or you'll fall. Target. Philip Lock. Yes, boss? That bot has a problem. Fix him. Right away, boss. I'm all fixed up, really. You, you don't need to do this. That's what they all say. Rogue police drones, data loss, robot trafficking. This case was way more complicated than I thought. And Jenny's life was on the line. Too bad I had no idea where she was. Jenny's wearing her gem in this honeymoon picture. It is heavier than it looks. The stuff you pack when you run for your life says more about you than anything else. The Blue Screen Club. There's a phone number on the side. Drinking won't help me find Jenny. As more and more evidence about the fraud in the upcoming elections are coming to light, protesters are gathering in front of the parliament. Earlier today, Senator Merrick joined them. We don't want the truth. We want action. We demand the police to shut down the elections. Looks like someone's trying to hold back an investigation. That's where that police drum broke in. How come he was working for Merrick? It's locked from the outside. I can't go to sleep. I need to find Jenny. I don't need this picture. And it makes me sad. It's too heavy. Better if I leave it here. But I am the best actress. Hotel paintings are like driving by a crushed car. You don't want to look, but you can't stop yourself. I don't need matches. Better leave them here. Bots like me use electricity stations like this to charge ourselves. But not Jenny. She can only be powered by the Sapphire Nucleus. How may I help you? Yes, please connect me to the Blue Screen Club. The number is MU5606. Hold on. Blue Screen Club, how can I help you? Yes, could you please tell me who's headlining tonight's show? It's a surprise. It's a lost show for a while. Could the surprise be Jenny Montage? What? How did you know? I had a hunch. What's your address? The Upper East Side. By the clouds. Good enough. Thank you. I made my way to the Blue Screen Club, the place where Jenny and Merrick met for the first time. She was a singer, he was a film producer. She loved him, he used her. There's nothing more helpless than a robot program to love.
they can't see I'm here and I want to keep it that way. Now, where is Jenny? She's a cool cat. They're goons for hire. You pay them enough and they'll do whatever you tell them to. You know, robots. If I take it, they'll see me. If they see me, they'll kill me. Looks like the senator is waiting for someone. They said Jenny's performing tonight, and as far as I can tell, this is not Jenny. Duke Automaton. That guy's a legend. The only bot from his generation is still functioning. There's no way I can outbid the senator for their service. I know Jenny's behind this door. Hello there. Hello, sir. Can I ask you something? If you must, sir. Who are you? I'm host for 5000, of course. My functions are hosting restaurants, clubs, and bar mitzvahs. Hey, I'm half Jewish myself. Shalom, brother. All right, hypothetical question, completely made up scenario, okay? Take a, take a walk with me in your mind. Let's just assume for a second that I had a hostage and wanted to hide them here. Where would I do it? Oh, you could use the secret storage room behind the bar, of course. That's where we keep all the slaves and the... Wait a minute, who you are, gang? I'm just a hypothetical kidnapper. That's all, just hypothetical. I don't even exist. I can see Senator Merrick has a private booth to himself. Is he a regular around here? Senator Merrick is not just a regular. He owns the club. So he also owns you. I'm a lucky robot, aren't I? Why do you have a bathroom in here? We're all robots. We don't need that. As the citizens of this great city, we are obliged to keep the human past alive. Having toilets is a part of that glorious past. Do you go to the bathroom? Oh, what a rude question. I like your tie. Why, thank you, sir. Can I have it? Absolutely not, sir. Whatever, I didn't want it anyway. You're the host, right? Get me a table, chop chop. I'm sorry, sir. We are full tonight. Unless you show your host some appreciation. That's all. For now. I think I saw an empty table. Can you double check for me, please? All I see is a guest who's not appreciating his host. Don't be so vulgar. Please show your appreciation discreetly. to go in there. I can't drink. I need to find Jenny. I need to move this bartender out of the way. I need to go in there. Losing money can drive you mad, but sometimes you just need some extra help. I'm not an expert in body language, but I can tell she's not enjoying her date. Hey, buddy, keep your hands to yourself, will ya? Looks like he's enjoying the show. Hey, don't you ever interrupt me while I'm traveling! What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. And you'd better not do it again. What did I tell you, huh? Relax, buddy. We're both trying to get lucky. See how lucky you get if you try this one more time. Stop it. 
Sleeping pills. He won't use these tonight. Rebooties. Immediate effect, lasting results. long staircase led down to the basement, longer than you'd imagine. Philip? I can't believe it's you! I'm stuck here! Yes! A weapon! Wait, no. It's only a screwdriver. Yay! Philip, stop screwing around! God! Hang on, Jenny. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I can't do anything else. It's held tight by magnets. What are you looking at? Help me. Philip, what the hell are you doing? My job, Mrs. Montage. Ouch! Watch it! Your husband's up to something. I suspect rebooting you is a part of a bigger plan. I just don't know what it is. The other day I heard him talking over the phone. He was more irritated than usual, but it sounded like nonsense, so I didn't pay much attention. What was he talking about? Putting on a magic show for police officers? Hmm. Do you know what he was talking about? No, I'm afraid not. Enough chit-chat. We need to get you to the Sapphire Nucleus before you shut down. Yeah, easier said than done. Here's how we do it. I distract your husband, and you get the suitcase. <clears throat> In case you haven't noticed, I'm a performer. Distractions are my job. Good point. You go on stage and distract Merrick as long as possible. I'll get the suitcase and meet you back here. That might actually work, but... Don't overthink it, Jenny. Trust me. Ugh, yeah, you're right. Fine. Okay. Relax, Jenny. Smile. Come on, you can do this. Mm, it's not my size. You can't just buy one of these at a store. Merrick had to take down a cop. Looks like it leads to a loading bay. Merrick's got some big operation going on here. The Gangster's Guide to Bribery. The Retropolis Times number one bestseller. Hmm, appropriate. Hey, I know you. These are blueprints for the police drone operator. There's a list of instructions. The police drone can perform many tasks, scan targets, order forces to act, and play messages. This is classified material. I'd better read more. Important, don't use the evidence compartment to hold your lunch. It will open only for predetermined scans and you may never see your sandwich again. Oh man, that's horrible. You can operate the drone manually to scan a target. It will remember the target's last location when ordering a subordinate to capture them. It's my graduation day picture. Most of my friends' faces are marked with an X, including John. May his circuits rust in peace. There's a question mark drawn above my face. Kinda captures how I feel right now. It's locked. Nah, eh, doesn't seem important. 
Well, well, what do we have here? Ooh, spooky. It seems like Merrick is hoarding police uniforms, and I don't think it's for a costume party. I don't want to pick it up. It reminds me of that night I'm still trying to forget. I don't want to pick it up. It reminds me of that night I'm still trying to forget. It's illegal to have one of these indoors. Too dangerous. Hmm, the sapphire nucleus isn't here. Must be in Merrick's suitcase upstairs. Hmm, I look good enough already. The Bot Who Broke My Heart, starring Jenny Montage. Mrs. Casino, starring Jenny Montage. The Evil in the Depths, starring Jenny Montage. In the kegs behind this door, there's all the booze a robot can dream of. If robots could dream, they would probably dream of booze. It won't open. These air vents are the perfect place for a brain-sucking alien to hide. <laughs> I'm glad it's not that kind of game, and that I don't have a mushy brain. And for the end of this segment, Benny Bogman will be playing an absurdly long laser harp solo. If he gets his head back, he'd be just fine. But he was a dangerous creep, and I prefer him to stay broken apart. I better leave her be. I'm not gonna bother him. I like this guy. He's minding his own business. I can use my other hand to read it. Chapter one, the economy is like a machine. If you want it to work smoothly, you sometimes need to grease it. Chapter 4. Bribes are like good poetry. Short and to the point. It's a popular book, but there's not much in it. Hey, can you go find me a table? I'm afraid to get in, sir. There's no table for you. You can sit by the bar. I'm sure you have some appreciation. This book is filled with so much insight. Let's see if I can find you the table you deserve. It's called Good Old Days. Wow, she's amazing. Good, he's looking at Jenny. Now is the time to take his suitcase. I can't take it while these goons are in the way. How do I get these stupid goons out of here? Searching. Okay, we'll wait right here, boss. Huh, interesting. Command received, boss. Should we get her? 
No, idiot! The show must go on! Alright, standing by! They're not police bots, but they do respond to the drones if they were. Targets! Come on, Jimmy Montage! Someone forgot to cancel the order to capture Jenny. I can't leave before I get the suitcase. They're blockheads, sure, but they'll notice if I take the suitcase. They eat. Steel, suckers. Oh, yeah. so good, I think I'm about to shut down. Let's get that power gem in you. Don't you move, Mr. Long. Ah! I know what you're up to, Merrick. You're not campaigning to win the elections, but to cover up your real plan, trading your wife to get control over the police. You're smarter than you look, Log. How about we make a deal? You give me that suitcase, and you walk away. What do you say? I'd rather die than give him back the suitcase. Damn it, you're fast. What do you want, funny? I can pay you. Whoa! You were a good bot, John. You cared about others. And ever since that day, I feared that if I cared like you, I would end up like you. Jenny, I... You saved me. When your taste in men is as bad as mine, you ought to know how to handle a gun. If your man wasn't so sloppy with his aim, I'd be a pile of junk right now. I guess he wasn't the mastermind behind John's murder. The great senator was only a cog in the machine. Who's John? I'll tell you later. Let's get you out of here first.
a suitcase filled with nothing but money. On any other day I'd be giddy, but we were expecting a sapphire nucleus, and it wasn't there. Also, we had a body to get rid of. Hope was fading away. I'm so scared, Philip. I don't want to turn off. I told her she'd be fine. She knew I was lying. We got out of the city and into the wasteland. Come on now, we need to go. You can go, Philip. I'll shut down any minute now. Might as well stay here with my husband. We'll be forgotten together. This isn't one of your films, Jenny. <sighs> Please, stop being the tough guy. I need you to be honest with me. Okay. About what? Oh, my life went by so fast. The fame, the money, the... Dresses. It was all a ruthless waste of time, and now I, I can't think. I can barely talk. I just want to feel like I meant something. Maybe democracy in a city of robots is not the best idea, but it's also not the worst, and your actions today saved it. If Merrick got a hold of power, he would have made Retropolis a whole lot worse than it already is. I only gave him what he deserved. And now you're free. That's what you wanted. Goodbye, Jenny. Goodbye, Philip. This city is my home. This city is my jail. I'm not sorry for him. He had it coming. She didn't deserve to end up like this. Jenny believed her gem would be in here. It's not. Sapphire nucleus, and she can't go too far. Do you want to guess where it is? Can you? Ta da! I hope you appreciate that magic trick. You helped me perform it. I wondered who he could have left that message to, but finding Jenny's power gem made me forget all about that. Merrick was a sneaky mother plugger. The sapphire nucleus was accessible only after Jenny's shutdown. Her fate was sealed from the moment I met her. But mine wasn't. At that moment, I gained something that I never had before. Control. Hello, my name is Jenny Montage. I can't seem to remember how I got here. Or anything else. Who, who are you? I'm Philip. I'm your friend. Okay, so, um, what are we doing here? Forget about that. All you need to know is we live in a rotten city. You have to be careful. Everyone you'll meet will try to exploit you. Trust no one. But I can trust you, right? Yes, Miss Montage. You can. Now let's get you home.
Weeks went by, and that night became just another unpleasant memory. But in the long run, it did me good. Sometimes one friend is enough to get you back on track, or to get you in even bigger trouble. Philip, thank God you're there. Jenny, calm down. What happened? It's the magician. The magician? He's after me. You gotta help me again. I'm on my way. Where are you? Hello? Jenny? Jenny? Thank you.